Hi guys, it's Jero here with tutorial time one. Um, this is a tutorial of Throwsy. Everyone's been asking for it how to make those nice looking cracks that it doesn't explode all over. So let's get into it. First of all, you gotta have a nice Lightroom and your text, of course. I'm gonna just use this text. And this is Light Studio by Error version 2. You can find it in Error's newest graphics pack. I think it's 3K or something. But yeah, go download it. I like it very much. And you can change it a little bit. So let's get into it like this. First of all, you gotta do is you gotta have really good materials. And what materials do I prefer? That's what people have been asking. Um, you should take really glossy material, whatever color you want, and put it here. Then you need another material, what you want to be the inside color of your throughout text. And that I'm going to put white, because I like white inside of the cracks really much. Because the shadow blends really well. Then you have the back um, object, which, which is black, and it's with a bit bigger caps than the other one. So I'm gonna put that one, not green, I'm gonna put it inside of it, will, will be green, and the outside of it will be black. That's why these are so important. Now just go and take, go to the middle of your screen where your text is, select one of the texts, press control, select the other one, go to plugins, throwsy, throwsy, um, pieces 40 to 50 is what I use, just keep everything else like that, press break now, wait till it breaks, um, I'm gonna come back when it's break, like broken, alright, yep. alright guys, we're back, it took 20 seconds to break it. Now just you can just close that actually. Now what you're gonna do, you have a lot of these throwsy 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 for every letter and for both layers. So now you go press um, the bottom one, you press shift and you press the top one, which select all, but we're not gonna do that yet. Now you go to this hypernubs thing, you press your um mouse left button and select extrude nerves now you got this now you go to the bottom one uh you press shift you go to the top one it selects everything you track them in here now you go to extrude nerves with all the throughout things in it now you go to MoGraph, effector select random uh drag the random effector into the extrude nerves and go to the random effector now go to deformer, there's a lot of these, but now go to the deformer, select object. Now it gonna, the random effector is gonna affect to all of these throughout layers right here. Just go to the random effector parameter, um, check scale. If you want the text back a little bit up, then just put these to zero but I'm not gonna do it I like it this way so now go to scale and you can mess around with this just how you want but well yeah you can do whatever with this I'm gonna like go a bit to the minus side and this I'm gonna go a bit up like this and this a bit like this so now I think it looks pretty cool with these settings. I got SX minus 0 0.32, as Y I got 0 0.06, and as Z I got minus 0 0.31. Let's see how it renders out. Um, I did this for the sync logo. It's just the same for logos, but you maybe have to reform the extra nerves after you've throuted it. No, um, before you throuted it, because it may say that can't break this. 
Alright, so this is what I'm looking for. Not shadows. Um, inside of it is white. And why I put the um, green material into the black layer inside. Um, otherwise this would be white. But I like it to blend in like this. So this is green too. And you can just render this out just how you want it. And it will be like to save it. I'm out. Peace.